Hello, uh, this is uh, Shachar Peled, a freelance translator since 1985, bringing you some insights about the profession, the art, and the industry of translation. And today I want to talk to you about the fuzzy match, uh, something very unique to CAT tools that beyond uh, the conservation of segments uh, about which I have spoken at some length in previous videos, it also provides you with a reflection of the changes. And this is called fuzzy match. But before we start, I, will, I would like to play you a, um, the theme uh, song for this clip. Okay, you get the idea. <laughs> so uh, let's look at it. Uh, fire up our word and let's look at this idea, the, the, the philosophical underpinnings of fuzzy match. So basically, um, it hinges on the source of thinking about TM in general, ignoring uh, intention, ignoring context, ignoring meaning, and looking at language like objects, one object comparable to another and maintaining these objects in uh, equilibrium. Um, um, it's all strings that have to be hoarded and reused. It's once you make a translation, uh, please do not revisit it. Because if you revisit it, then uh, you are putting back the timetables. You are putting a... Um, um, a spanner in the works. You are holding up the machine. The machine works by creating objects or word objects. And the fuzzy match is a further development of this mindset. It uh, takes into account the, and, and conceives of uh, the translation work. Let's put this word off. Okay, and look at this. The fuzzy match is uh, the machine that um, takes uh, what you already created in the past or someone else created, we'll talk about it in another uh, video, uh, and uh, sees what changed and changes just that. So instead of revisiting the entire segment, the fuzzy match just pinpoints a certain point one word that has to be changed, and you save time by changing just that word. So, especially in very high uh, fuzzy matches, you have like, um, um, the boy wrote a letter, so instead of a letter, now you have a poem. So you have, instead of, uh, so it shows you that in the past it was the boy wrote a letter, and now you have to change the word letter to poem. So you go into uh, your translation, your target, and you change just that word. And that's uh, like a 95% fuzzy match. Sounds fantastic. But actually, it's very problematic, as we will see in uh, the next clips, because the, again, the concept, the concept is problematic. The concept does not allow you to be flexible in your approach to that piece of text because it forces you into a kind of uh, into a niche and also we will see it's not also it's not always the same fuzzy match that is calculated in the original source because for example um, a letter and a poem are the same gender maybe in Hebrew but maybe in other languages they would have different genders so you would have to change the uh, the verb so it's not no longer a 95 percent fuzzy match but maybe a 70 percent fuzzy match but more of that later on in subsequent videos <laughs> 